mortgage uh, crisis is hitting everybody. It's hitting California extremely hard. It's in Central Valley, the Bay Area. You know, people are losing their homes every day. And one of the reasons is people don't see the train coming down the tracks because under current law, they only get 30 days notice there's going to be a change in their payments. If you have a 30-day notice that your payment is going to double or triple because you're coming out of a subprime loan or a negative amortization loan or whatever those gimmicks were three or four years ago, in 30 days, you can't even refinance your house, let alone respond. So the idea was give people 90 days notice, give them an estimate of what their new payment will be, give them time to plan. If they have to refinance, give them time to do that, give them time to find another job, work overtime, rent out some rooms. The idea is to keep people out of um, homelessness because so many people are losing their homes. And if in today's economy in, in California, if, if you lose your home and if you have to file for bankruptcy, you're probably never gonna own a home again. Uh, given the economy. So it's just something that we thought was, was, look at it, it just made sense. It's something the federal government is contemplating doing. They're just slow on the trigger. We just thought we'd do it faster here in California. The governor has lost all touch with reality. He likes to talk a lot about his humble roots, but I guess he's forgotten them because, uh, you know, if you're not a fat cat from Hollywood or a high paid lobbyist, he really doesn't li listen to you, doesn't care, doesn't understand your plight. Uh, working families, poor families, kids, disabled seniors, they're all losing under this governor. This, this bill would keep people in their homes, they're gonna lose their homes. This governor vetoed in the budget uh, rental assistance for seniors. He vetoed rental assistance for low income families. I don't understand who this governor, what this governor is thinking, but more importantly, I don't know who he's talking to and I don't know if he's heard. People are hurting in California and, and it's time for us to step up and take care of them. When homes are foreclosed on and you're a renter, you're basically getting a three day notice. You may, even if you're on time on your rent, you have a deposit, you're paying all your utilities, Notwithstanding all of that, you still are evicted in three days. My bill would have said, give these people 60 days notice, make sure they have time to get out, just like any other renters in, in regular circumstances. Give them time to find a place, keep them out of homelessness, and more importantly, give them back their deposit. They didn't do anything wrong. The governor, again, thought it was better to protect banks and big mortgage companies, doesn't want to give these people their money back, wants to throw them out in the streets. Again. No concept, no clue about what people are going through. It's appalling, really. It's appalling what he's doing with the budget. It's appalling what he's doing on this mortgage rate crisis. The whole country knows we're having a mortgage rate crisis, but apparently the governor, driving around in his Hummer, doesn't know that we have a crisis going on. So I hope that he will take some time away from the, from the bright lights, away from the press conferences, away from the bully pulpit, and take a look and talk to regular people and ask them what's happening in California. He'll discover that th times are not good in California and we need to take aggressive action as a state.